name is Paulus. I studied. Wait. Ah. Okay. Wait. Uh, do I have to be actually like very bureaucratic or no? So my name is Paul. My name is Pavelas, and uh, my name is Pavelas. My name is Pavelas, and uh, I study fashion design, and I'm part of the commercial practice, the branding minor. Like I started in graphic design, and I realized, yeah, that's not my medium, and I guess I have this urge to do fashion and clothes, and then I switched, and it just clicked, and it's like it works out, and. People seem to really like like it and understand what I'm saying, and that gives a lot of confidence as well. Once you know you're trying to say something and through clothes, and then it actually connects to people, and that gives you confidence, and you know then you continue on doing it. So I was born in Lithuania, and for the past 12 years, uh, I lived outside of Lithuania, and it was kind of this other side of me, which I didn't interact that much with it. It was kind of like the familiar other, which is the title of my project. It was kind of familiar and it was there, but I didn't really in interact that much with it. And for my graduation work, I decided to kind of try to reconnect with that side of my identity. Yeah, in, I mean, in essence, I was trying to really find the best way to communicate how uh, I felt about my identity um, to the world. Maybe I got good at pretending that I'm confident about um, the project for about uh, half a year. You know, we kind of have to sell it so many times to so many different people that if you don't believe it yourself, then like it will fall apart very, very fast. So you kind of have to believe in the project. Yeah, if you don't believe it, other people won't believe it. Yeah. Also pushed me to make something I like and something I believe in because otherwise I knew that it will be just another crappy project which I don't like and. Like, yeah, if I don't like, then how can I expect other people, you know, my future employees and all the tutors and everyone to like, you know? But yeah, I mean, there's still a lot of doubts on, on you know. Um, I mean, if my doubt was a person, they would probably say, yeah, just your work is not interesting enough. Like, it's just another another pair of pants, another jacket, another, yeah, another couple jackets, another, like, you're not even, you know, at least, like, you're not even pretending like you're trying to reinvent the wheel, you know, you're literally just making another pair of, of the same garments, which have been done thousands of times, and are you really, you know, are you really, like, why are you doing this? Like, you know, there's such a big problem in the fashion industry already, there's so many people already creating pants and, and jackets and they're probably way better and interest, more interesting than your creation so you shouldn't, uh, yeah, maybe you should stop. <laughs> um, so I answered these doubts with, yeah, I made my mind up, I decided that yeah, I just had this idea and and I decided that I'll make it a reality and I'll just make it a reality, a physical thing. And uh, if it's shit, it's shit, but I just have this burning feeling in me where it, like, if I get an idea, I have to make it happen no matter if it's good or bad. So it still feels a bit, I mean, current day it me feels a bit surreal that I did actually make clothes for seven looks. Just like four year old me would say, Good job. Um, it's really cool. I knew you. You, uh, yeah. I always believed in you. Uh, I'm happy you. You know, you managed to do it because I wasn't sure if it was gonna work out. But I, I'm happy you did, and I'm happy you made it happen. So first, I watched the movie, then the Over Dream Team, then I watched a lot of uh, TV shows which style, stillus. Um, then I interviewed people, my grandpa, uh, my, my grandmother, my, gra my dad, family friends, so people who were alive at that time. Um, and then I went to Lithuania, did some garment sourcing, went to secondhand shops, bought clothes, then brought them back, had a pile of clothes next to me, a camera in front of me, and was just playing loud music and experimenting and searching uh, for combinations of, and ways to express uh, 
how I'm feeling best through those clothes. And then uh, I took pictures of different ideas. Um, and then, then I took them to Photoshop and made digital hybrid, like hybrid drawings with the photos of the garments, plus drawings to kind of make them more actual garments rather than just like ideas. Kept on refining and refining. First, I just focused on silhouettes, and then later I started adding color and fabric. And uh, eventually, once I had a collection of ideas and silhouettes I liked, then I started making them, uh, yeah, in real life. And uh, while making, I kept on refining them a bit. And in the end, uh, I finished the seven looks of, of clothes. When I was getting onto this graduation journey let's say in the September like I knew I was stepping onto a train and I knew the end goal was five or seven looks but I hadn't like I knew and I knew the journey wasn't gonna be just like you know like sit back and relax and you know in first class and just three hour journey to Paris no I mean but I also did I, like I had no idea what it would be so I could just kind of embarked it and I departed and just went with it and just happy I did reach the destination.